Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome to my channel. Today's video is exciting since I'm showing you guys something that will be released soon. Basically the product is going to be released on March 1st and it is a digital notebook or a lot of digital notebooks actually. So I'm like so excited about it to show you guys, give you guys like the rundown of like how you could use it and things like that and then it'll be released on March 1st. I think I'm just going to like put um, up this thing so you guys could see a little bit better without the glare even though that's not the bestest because now I feel like it's up too high but okay so here's the digital planner but I want to show you guys the digital notebook so I'm gonna go into my thing here I have all four notebooks in here so yes there's gonna be four two different patterns but each pattern comes in like a horizontal version or a vertical version depending on how you want to use your iPad so let me start with the horizontal since many of you are many of you guys are going to be familiar with the horizontal version because that's how the digital planner is and the digital recipe book so many of you guys are going to be familiar with like the horizontal layout felt like I needed to zoom in a little too maybe I'll just put something underneath it I don't think I need it that high but like a little bit what is this will that work that works a little better. Okay, I just put in like my passport thing. I had it laying out on my table. Okay, don't mind me. So here is the first um, digital notebook. This is like the cover. It looks so pretty. It's like an ombre pink and then it goes to like a beautiful like a minty color. Here on the top you could write down whatever you want to use this notebook for like kind of like the big umbrella category and then under that umbrella there's going to be smaller categories because now you have six different tabs underneath here. Here you just have like some information. Um, the next page after that is an index page. So you can use, well it's like a table of contents or index page, whatever you want to call it. It's just labeled table of contents. So for the horizontal notebooks, well, let me show you guys something cool. So for example, anytime you want to flip between tabs, you have to have this selected, this tool right here. So make sure you have that selected if you want to flip between tabs because otherwise it don't, they don't work. Like I can click on a tab and it's not going to work. But when you have that selected, you click on a tab and it'll flip to whatever that tab is. So I'm showing you guys, I'm flipping between the six different tabs right here. Okay. When you click on these rings in the middle, it'll take you back to the index page anytime you're on a tab. So you could also use this index page or the table of contents to click on the flag and it'll take you to that divider. Then when you want to go back, you click on the rings and it'll take you back to the index page, which I thought was like a really cool feature so I don't have to have an extra tab at the top to um, go to the index page. So that's one thing. Now, if you want to go to any tab, whatever you want, you go to label this, whatever. The next page shows you a dot grid kind of um, background and page. The next one after that, you have lined pages. So you could copy and paste these pages however many times you want throughout your planner. The next one is a just a grid background. So I don't know, maybe you want to use this for math or maybe you just like the grid background. And then the next one is just a blank page. So after each tab, you'll see that it comes with four different pages. You could also see here that now the tabs are on this side because they are flipping tabs. So I'll click on this one and it's still this tab to go with this. But then the next when I flip it over, it's now on this side, just like in a traditional planner where you have the tab and then you flip it and now it's on the left side just like that is the same idea with the horizontal um, notebook and just the same idea as my digital planner. The recipe book doesn't do that only because I thought it was just like too much to have it flip back and forth um, but for the digital um, planners and the digital notebook these do flip over to the next side just like that. So this is just like the digital notebook. You could do so many different things with it. Like think about what do you use a notebook for? You could use it as like a brain dump. You could have a section for like a brain dump and ideas where you just want to like share your thoughts on paper and just write them down. Anytime you would use paper, you could use the same um, digital notebook instead of using paper. Um, I like to use mine for YouTube video ideas. I like to use mine um, for recipes. I like to use mine, and when I say recipes, I don't mean like um, 
cooking recipes because I have my recipe planner for that, which is right here. It's my recipe planner. So I have um, my recipe planner for that. Where is it? All right, like here. So I have my whole recipe planner for that. But what I mean um, recipe-wise, like I like to put DIYs in here. So anytime I do like a skincare DIY, like I make these facial cleansing pads. And I have a YouTube video on it as well. But instead of flipping back to my YouTube video, I like to just write it down in my planner. Or not my planner, my notebook. So I'm probably going to be using one of these notebooks as like a DIY kind of thing. So anytime I make a DIY craft and I could separate this by like skincare, or I could separate it by hair care. Maybe if I want to make a hair mask, um, skin care would be like facial cleansing pads or face masks or whatever like concoction I come up with, whether it's, you know, like sometimes for face masks you could do banana and honey. So having like um, ingredient list and how much of each to put in that, I'll probably do one of my planners as like a DIY thing. But I think I might want to use the vertical planner, which I'm going to show you guys next so oh by the way you could also click on this to see all the pages in here and delete whatever pages you don't want what you do not want to delete is these tabbed pages though because then if you delete this then they're not going to link it back to anything anymore so you don't want to delete that but you could delete the pages within um but i don't know if you want to delete that either i would just I mean, if you know you're not going to be using, like, a grid background, then yes, you could delete that page if you're never going to need it again. I would just duplicate the pages that you do want so you always have those. Okay, going back, and I'm going to show you guys the vertical version of this. So you guys see how it's a little different? This one is now sideways. This one is vertical. So this one looks like this if you have your um, iPad laid out horizontal. But when you have this laid out... A vertical guys I don't know can you guys see that a little bit I feel like I need to like oh I have to lift it up in the back here okay so vertical now it flips and now you have like this beautiful vertical um, notebook so same idea here the cover is the same but now when you go to the next page, so here the tabs do not flip because it's kind of like all zoomed in so you can like see everything and just like write on it directly. Kind of like more like a traditional notebook instead of having to like zoom in. So here you have um, tap, top tabs for the cover. So you could click on that or you could click on the index tab. These tabs will also take you to the divider just like that and so will these on the side the only thing is that these do not flip so just like that you can flip between um, your tabs and there you go so same thing if you want to go back to the index page you go here um, and then this one just has a top tab of index instead of like the rings because I have the rings kind of coming off the page so you don't see the other half only so it looks like more like a traditional notebook I did it that way so it doesn't so you can't see the other pages that would typically be there um, so this way is the vertical thing same idea though you have your divider and then you have your dot grid page you have your lined pages, you have your grid page, and then a blank page. And you could look here and duplicate any of the pages that you want. But I made this to fit this screen this way, depending on how you want to use the planner. Same idea here, you could use it uh, for recipes. Like if you don't have the recipe planner and you don't want to spend money on the recipe planner, just buy one of the recipe inserts and you could put it in here and have this as your recipe book. The cool thing about GoodNotes is that you could search for any of your handwriting and you could just like type it in there and it'll take you to that page. So I like the recipe planner because I like to separate things um, by section as you guys could see here like sides, main dishes, soups, salads. Like I like to separate by section but if you don't and if you just like to throw your recipes in a notebook like you could just use a regular uh, digital notebook for that and that works just fine. Um, I'm probably also going to be using another notebook as like a budget notebook so I'll probably do like one section as like a budget at a glance for the whole year. I'll do like um, breaking down by month of where my money is going only because I'll probably be budgeting soon um, in the near future. I don't know when but I used to a lot and then I kind of just stopped but I'm gonna have to like really um, tie down on, on a lot of things and have to budget again soon so um, that's just going to be that. So I'll probably use one of these as a budget notebook. 
Um, you could also use it as a gratitude in the same way as in like a reg regular digital planner. You could add any inserts that you may have. So let me go to my images, photos, and I'm going to go to my camera roll. And I'm just going to like search for the photo that I want to input here, which I think I, I want to show you guys like the gratitude if I still have it in my camera roll. Um, okay, so like you could still use um, these. The only thing now is you're going to have it on two pages instead of like one page, but you could still put those in. You could have your 30 days of gratitude and label a tab gratitude. Um, I'm probably also going to create uh, pages where it's just like on a single page. So I do have a digital notebook now where it's like single pages. So I'm going to create create more inserts that are going to be single pagers. Um, but until then, you could kind of just use this however you want. So now let me show you guys the other planner. So this is again the vertical. You had the horizontal. Let me show you. This is the horizontal. Now we also have the neutral version. So as you guys can see, hold on again real quick here. As you guys can see here, the tabs here are colorful and like pastel like and they're pretty and colorful and fun. But the tabs on the neutral one, let's start with the vertical. So this is what it looks like, the cover. It's more neutrally. It's like a blush, not a blush pink, like a peachy pink, I guess I would say, with grays and blacks and stuff. It's still pretty girly because I think it looks very cute. But the tabs now are very neutral and so is like this um, index spread. So the same idea with this one, just the colors are different. You have the cover page here where you could click on the cover. You could click on the index if you want to be taken back to the index page. You could click on any of these flags to be taken to um, that divider page. You could also click on these dividers over here. And the same idea, you have a dot grid background, you have a lined page background, a grid background, and then a plain paper and six different tabs, however you want to use them. So it really is just however you want to use it. And now flipping back to this horizontal way, I want to show you guys the other um, horizontal planner, the neutral color. So same idea as the first one, you have this one in the neutrally colors blush, um, not blush, I keep saying blush pink, but it's like a peach pink um, with gray and blacks. You have the same tab, same idea, you could click through these, they're all um, linked, so as long as you're using GoodNotes or whatever, you could link these. In the horizontal, just note that when you click on the rings, it takes you to the index page, whereas in the vertical, you click on the index at the top, and it'll take you to the index page. Um, and then this one also, the tabs flip in the horizontal and they do not flip in the vertical. So see here, they don't flip here, but in the other one, they do flip. So it just depends on how you want to use your planner or your notebook rather. If you want a vertical version of it, if you want to use the horizontal version of it, whatever you choose to do, you could still duplicate any of the pages that are included. The dot grid, the um, just the grid page, the line pages, or the blank pages. You can duplicate any of these throughout your planner. Here in the horizontal, you just have to be careful when you're duplicating pages because the tabs do flip. Like you don't want to duplicate this page and then include it in here because then the tabs are going to be on this side, if that makes sense. Whereas in this one, because the tabs don't flip, you could literally duplicate any of the, these pages and put them anywhere you want, but these ones, if you're duplicating pages here, you only want to include it right after the peach divider and not anywhere else because then if you duplicate from here, now you're going to have another tab on the side if that makes sense. I don't know. I think you guys just might have to see it. Um, but you can literally use these however you want, just like regular notebooks. So what I want you guys to do, just so everyone could like get an idea of how they would use a digital notebook. I'm also going to do a giveaway with this, so um, right before March 1st, what is it, February 28th, I will choose a winner and email them their choice of a notebook, whether it's the vertical or horizontal and the neutral or the colorful. So I'm going to choose one winner on YouTube and one winner on Instagram, so two people are going to have this planner um, right before it's released, so, if, so you guys will know 
um, before the release date if you had one or not. And it's, that's going to be on February 28th because I do believe there's 28 days this year. It's not a leap year of February. So with that being said, to enter the giveaway, you have to comment down below how you would use a digital notebook and comment with which one you would use. Is it the neutral horizontal, the neutral vertical, or is it the colorful horizontal, the colorful vertical? And I want you guys to let me know in the comment section down below how you would use a digital notebook. And you know what guys, you could actually also just print this. If you guys just wanted a packet on paper, like you could print any of these um, because you could just open them on your computer and print any of them. Let me know in the comment section down below, how would you use a digital notebook? Make sure also to leave your email. I don't think YouTube does messages anymore. That was like a thing a really long time ago. So leave your email so I could also message you if you are the winner and I could email you rather. Um, and I'll let you guys know that you're the winner then and I'll ask you which notebook you want. I'm assuming it would be the notebook that you say that you want, but just to confirm, I will also ask you in an email if you are the chosen winner. So just keep an eye out on your inboxes on February 28th because that's, that's gonna be when the winner is announced. If you want a second entry and just to double your chances, you could also enter on my Instagram at Carolina's Crafts and I will be posting a giveaway on that today. So by the time you guys see this video, it'll already be up and you guys could enter there as well. So just to go over the rules once again for the giveaway, just comment down below your email which planner you would use, whether it's the vertical or horizontal and the neutral or the colorful and how you would use a digital notebook. Like, what would you use it for? Comment that down below and that will enter you for the giveaway. Also, obviously, make sure this, the regular, make sure you just subscribe to my channel. That's an obvious one, but just in case you guys aren't already, make sure you're subscribed. And that's it for the rules. So subscribe and then comment down below those three things, your email, which planner, and how you would use it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this will be released on March 1st. So if you don't win, you still could buy it on March 1st. Obviously, it's not going to be the same price as my digital planner. There's not as much going on. It's going to be probably around half the price of a digital planner. If you're also not subscribed to my email newsletter, I will have a link down below for that as well. And there may or may not be a coupon code for the release date on March 1st. So you definitely want to make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, if you would like a coupon code and um that's it guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys again soon so i'll talk to you next week <laughs> all right guys i'll talk to you soon bye